Okay, I decided to post another video here uh, with, of course, Jason Gutter Trash and his son Pigpen. Uh, one of the big problems that I see with these uh, frauditor um, videos is people try to combat absurdities with logic. Doesn't work, guys. You cannot use logic on these crazy SOBs. Another thing that I found out, but I don't know the statutes of it, it is illegal to possess on these type of mediums like recording devices people's names and addresses off of um, envelopes or packages and also credit card numbers and I think VIN numbers as well and we're talking about federal laws here uh, but I, um, I have somebody brought it to my attention that it is illegal to actually possess this information on a recorded device um, also they say, well, I can record whatever the eyes can see. Um, uh, actually, um, if you can see up a girl's dress, um, it's one thing to see it inadvertently. It's another thing to record it. And that could also be a violation. Okay. Um, I don't have the exact statutes actually, but, um, I appreciate input coming from other people. And um, I hope you bring it, you know, if you find out, uh, please let me know statutes. But uh, I think um, if we do some research and put our heads together, we could probably find, um, yeah, laws being broken, recorded uh, cases of laws being broken where uh, the statute of limitations is still effective. So um, I don't know. One thing to do um, if this guy bothers you is take warrants out on him. And just looking through statutes, state statutes, federal statutes, you'd be surprised at how many ridiculous laws there are out there. Uh, for example, it's illegal to purchase um, over a pound of margarine in a container. That's a federal law. And that carries a six-month prison sentence. So you don't even go to a county lockup for that, but... Probably they won't enforce that one. But uh, if we want to get nitpicky, uh, I'm sure we could find something on these frauditors, and that's something worth pursuing. You know they'd do the same to you. Hello, how are you? Good. <coughs> what you guys doing? <laughs> Self-explanatory. Okay. Explain it to me. How are you? I'm a county employee. I'm working here. Oh, okay. I couldn't see your ID. Can I ask your name? Yeah, it's Tom. Tom, how are you, Tom? Good, how are Good. you? Doing well. Thank you. Um, at work, and there's no... That's not your name. What's your name? How are you today, sir? I'm good. Good. So what can I help you with, Tom? You could explain what you do. I could. But uh, if you want to come back out after we're done, I'd be happy. And notice, notice he gives a smart-ass answer. Okay. <clears throat> okay, uh... Yeah, you're giving up your name, badge number, employee ID. As a matter of fact, um, he recorded the employee ID. That may also be against the law, okay? But, uh, yeah, when you're dealing with a frauditor, I mean, and you're going to respond with logic and cooperation, uh, wrong answer. We have seen time and time again that does not work. Doing what the recorder, you know, the frauditor asks, that's uh, that's stupid on your part. So um, don't cooperate with these guys. I mean, if you are, stop. And I think what we need to do is put our heads together and come up with a way to, uh, well, I don't know, maybe uh, figure out how to deal with them. Let me just ask you a question. Maybe I could save you guys some trouble. No, I'm going to call Peg or Elections Director. You can call whoever you want. There are obviously some very, very clear cut and dry rules and regulations about what's allowed to happen here. Yeah, so videotaping people is not one of them. Sure it is. You're, you're, you're not allowed to videotape people? Is that what you're saying? Uh, this is at a voting uh, poll, okay, and he's recording people who are voting. Um, 
I think there are some uh, statutes that say you can't be near the place recording it or uh, intimidating voters or something like that. Um, the thing is, um, a lot of these employees, they don't have time to look up all these statutes, but now they're going to have to. They're going to have to look them up. Uh, at the very least, call the police and get a case number, because with the case number, you're going to need the perpetrator's names. Even if nothing happens, at least there's a record of it. You just told me five minutes ago that you were familiar with the rules. Sounds like you're confused. Do you have a copy of the uh, rules and regulations here on site? Because if I am doing something to violate them, I'd be happy to look at it, get educated today, and not do that. And you we do know, as you come up with this. And we know from experience with this guy that he does not follow the rules. And if you do show him the rules, doesn't matter. He's not going to follow them. Again, you should not deal with this person as if he were logical. This guy's crazy. He's insane. Uh, you are not going to reason with an insane person. It's not going to happen. Um, there is a way to deal with him, and uh, basically he needs to be stepped on. But anyway, um, people have brought things up to my attention. Um, I guess we're going to have to get specifics and start sharing information because uh, these frauditors are not bothering just the post offices. They're bothering people who are voting. They're bothering uh, private citizens. Now they're pepper spraying them. And that's going to lead to, um, and well, they carry guns. So that's another problem. So it's going to lead to something worse and worse and worse. And uh, it's never going to get better. Um, anyway, they're a problem to everybody, including people who, um, are just trying to mind their own business and carry on with their business. Smile on your face. You say, hey guys, how's it going? What are you doing? You can't even see my face. See, so you're just, okay, so whatever I say, you're right. And that's what it is. So. There's no conflict at all, sir. I haven't asked you a single question. Okay, very good. I'm talking about your, uh, you work here, right? I do. Okay, so. And you do not, correct? What, what's your name? My name's Carl. Carl. Yeah. Very good. What's your name? I didn't give it. Okay. Well, that's great. You've already started a good way to... No, 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 no. Tom started your good way. When I'm approached with respect, I give plenty of it back. And that is bullshit. This guy is an avid liar. Uh, there's really no way to handle him except the hard way. Okay, we got what's called the stick and the carrot method. The carrot doesn't work. Back. I didn't give it your name. What do you need it for? Why'd you ask mine? Because you're a public employee. And you're, you're operating in your official capacity. So when you are operating in your official capacity, you... Say it again? I can stand wherever I want. I'm well aware of that. Thank you. Appreciate your call. Just, uh, you might want to give me six feet there instead of standing right on top of me. That's a good point. Yeah. That is a good point. Tom. Tom. Or not Tom. What's your name? Carl? Could you give me six feet, please? I'm standing here. I work here. You just walked up a foot away from you me. You can stand right next to your feet. I should move because you just walked over here? I was standing here first. Sir, he's violating the six-foot rule, so I don't know if you want to do anything about that. If not, that's up to you. Uh, but the six-foot rule, that's not a law. I don't have to follow it. Oh, that's a rule. That's not a law. Oh, that's a regulation. That's not a law. I don't have to follow it. The six-foot thing, uh, that's really not a rule. That's more of a guideline, and... Um, well, and now he's uh, concerned about policies and procedures. No, this animal is a jackass. I'm literally standing here, and he just came and stood 12 inches away from I me. Have the right I can smell your breath, bro. You're too close. Even through the mask. Yeah, so why don't you just at least give me some personal space here? I didn't violate yours. Are you trying to... Uh, you violate everybody's personal space. You get in people's faces. You record personal information. Um... I've seen the uh, videos, I tried looking them up, I couldn't find them, but actually I did not record them, but he actually uh, records people's VIN numbers. Uh, he actually captures names and addresses off of packages, uh, which is illegal, okay? Uh, Jason Gutter Trash and your son, the fairy godmother, Pigpen, I challenge you to come down to Georgia, Rockdale County. Clayton County, Henry County, I challenge you to come down there and show your ass, okay? Um, 
so far you've been very lucky, but um, man, you're going to run into some of these meat eaters one of these days. And down south, they do things a little differently, apparently. But I challenge you to come down there, and people, if you see these frauditors, uh, tell them that they're assaulting you. And remember, legally speaking, assault does not mean touching. Battery is touching, or specifically, unwanted touching.